The reason I made this video is to share a way to keep my data in safety. And that's a practical way which is pretty friendly to people who are not a professional IT specialist. So let's get started. First, the hardware I bought. Number one, a Raspberry Pi Model 4B as it's got full speed NIC and the USB 3 port, which is a huge improvement to its precedent, Model 3B. Number 2, 2 or 3 3.5 inch SATA hard disk drive and the external enclosures, as in the late 2019 4TB is the best affordable one for me. You can choose whatever you like which you can afford. Number 3, the important accessories for Raspberry Pi, like a good fan for cooling your Raspberry Pi. Believe me, it's very important for this project. I will get to that later. That's it. And if you want to check the detailed hardware configuration and uh, estimated cost, I put it in the description area. And now here is why and the methodology behind all of this. Number one, why Raspberry Pi? Not Intel NCU or Mini ITX DIY or apply such as Synology product because I want to keep it as simple as it can, which means lower budget, simple recovery, and friendly to the beginner if something bad happened. Number two, why the simple external hard drive? That's because I don't want to push any hardware to its limit so that I can lower the failure risk as much as I can. What does that mean? As I've been working in x86 server business for many years, hard drive is far more unreliable than we can imagine. Even the SCSI or the later one SARS or nearline SARS, not to say the consumer level SATA hard disk. Well, SSD step forward a lot, but it's way too pressy, which is off the topic for the time being. Number three. Why not read or read applies like Synology NAS products? There are two aspects. One is to recover a failed drive such as RAID 5 or 6 would still be risky in losing your data. There is math theory behind this, but it is not human language. I prefer the simple common sense one, which is bigger the hard drive you got, like more than 2 terabyte, the more chance of failure rebuilding you will get. Another aspect for read one or mirror is the mental data in every hard drive. Whatever the hard rate or the software rate offered from the OS level, if any of the mental data corrupt because of power outage or the hardware failure, such as RAID disk enclosure or the hard disk itself, it's definitely a nightmare to recover it. Regarding of performance, you won't get much performance boost in most user cases in all the consumer level RAID product, because there's no RAID cache or much lesser in the RAID controller, and the processor for the controller is too weak. Cost issue is one of the reasons behind this, because to achieve these, you also need extra battery or UPS to protect the cache data. Number 4. Power consumption consideration. If you just want to keep your data in safety, you probably don't want your NAS to draw too much power. So Raspberry Pi could achieve less than 10 watt when it's busy and much lesser when it's idle. The hard drive eat more power, but it's still acceptable by average 20 watt per hard drive. It's really not a big deal, just half kilowatt hour a day. Number five, why to choose a different hard disk brand and external enclosure brand? Because there are too many firmware bugs, manufacturing defect, or design issues in the hardware which we will never know from the vendor. They won't tell you because many of the problems are internal confidential. For me, I chose Western Digital Red 4TB and Seagate Aerowolf 4TB and two different external enclosures from Oracle and Unitech. By the way, you must know Raspberry Pi cannot drive the massive external hard drive without extra power supply for the hard drive. 
Number six, using the official Raspbian operating system. I'm a huge fan of Red Hat and Ascent OS, but still I installed Raspbian OS because it could be the least buggy one. Number seven, choose a good fan. If you want to put your server in the living room or anywhere near your normal life, spend more money on a quiet fan would save your ass. I dumped my $1 fan and bought a Noctua fan with $15 and it's amazing. It's worth the money. Believe me, the temperature 4B chip will raise high to average 65C without fan cooling. Any fan would lower that to below 40C. Number 8. Use the plain OS with default ext 45 system. Forget Ceph, ZFS, etc. Which looks fantastic, but just stick to the old ext 4 which is robust enough and friendly to the performance. Number 9. Try to use wired network cable rather than wireless to the Raspberry Pi end. The reason is simple, it's faster and more stable. If you have to use wireless, well, it's fine. Actually, you won't lose too much performance in most NAS cases. But a good or pricey wireless router would be recommended to invest. Number 10. Use cron job to manually synchronize the two hard drives. Maybe in midnight, because in most home user case scenario, that's just enough, and it will save a lot of power. Okay, I think it's too much for today. I will get to the OS configuration in another video. If you find this video is useful to you, or have concerns or questions, please leave your comments below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.